Bye, Donnie. Bye, kitten. I will be out there in that rain this morning. Yeah, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to be here all snuggled up on my couch, all by myself, all lonely. <laughs> I'll be home after I stop at Walmart, mm. assuming it's not pouring or that right. trip will get pushed off till later. Right. Well, you can always come straight home. Jack on for you. Not watching Jack. We love Jack at ETV, EVTV, but no. <laughs> I prefer to let Don watch that by himself. <laughs> Good morning, Ruby. I'm so sorry you're getting wet this morning. Outside may be cloudy and rainy, but inside the car, it's a beautiful, bright, sunny spring day with butterflies. The boys and I are starting a new Audible book this morning, Ready Player One. Um, this is a book that Joey suggested and picked out. We were just surprised to learn that um, Will Wheaton, who played Wesley Crusher on uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, is the narrator. Um, so that's kind of exciting. We are fans of his. We uh, followed him in Eureka and we follow him on Twitter and anyway, that's kind of neat. So um, this is supposed to be a really good book and uh, we're going to see what we think of it. It's great. It's a really good book so far. Yeah, we're enjoying uh, Will Wheaton's narration. And He's, the 80s pop culture reference. Yeah, Will Wheaton's narration is really good. And they said Galaga and Robotron in the same sentence, so I was happy. Have a good day, guys. See you this afternoon. I love you. Well, I made it back to Fuquay and uh, it's not pouring down rain, so I am going to go into uh, Walmart and get things that I need. Um, so. Sure wish it was uh, sunny out there today. It's cooled off a bit. It's 59. I think the next couple of days the high is only going to be 60 something. Yeah, us spoiled North Carolina people in February. What can I say? I might actually have to put on a sweater because I think one of the overnight lows is going to be 40. Yeah, really we should be having a normal weather. I can handle February being, you know, cold like it's supposed to be and then the gradual warm up because we're just going to pay when we have those nights that go down near freezing and we have frost. Um, nothing, you know, out of my control though, so enjoy it while it lasts, I guess. I don't think we have any extra appointments this week. No dentist, no doctor, no physical therapy, no extra Taekwondo stuff, no extra stuff at the school. Just the normal Taekwondo and robotics. So hopefully this week is not going to be too, you know, um, stressful, I guess, as far as getting us where we need to be when we need to be. I'm hoping anyway. Yeah, could use a little easygoing, calm sort of a week. That would be good. Well, I'm very pleased to discover that Walmart has started carrying Califia. I'm home. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You're welcome. Donnie's right here where he promised he'd be watching Jack. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Oh, that looks great. So the UPS man just came, and uh, this is Don's new phone. I'm not sure where we left things, but um, Donnie, John. <laughs> Oh, that's easy for me to say. Johnny got the Galaxy S6 because they were out of stock on the S7, the pre-owned. And then we went to look the next day and they had the S7 pre-owned back in stock. So Don went ahead and grabbed one. And Johnny has been thanking us about every 10 minutes for uh, letting him get that new phone. Um, which is a real steal. Uh, and so, um, yeah, I think Don's going to be happy with this. Yeah, probably. It's supposed to be the same size and it should darn near look exactly like the yeah. same phone. Don did get a different case than Johnny, so that will be... Ew! Ain't it pretty? Yep. Oh, love the fingerprints. Yeah, that was the only thing I noticed when we took it out is that they didn't exactly... Uh, either they didn't de-fingerprint it or the like the second you touch it, but that's alright. Your case will be here 
God, did you say Amazon wasn't delivering it till Wednesday for yeah, some reason, the one you picked out? Yeah, well, don't uh, don't drop it till it gets here. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. It's that time again. Time to go pick up the boys. I did next to nothing at the house. Enjoyed watching a movie. Some YouTubes. Relaxing. Yeah, rainy Mondays. That's what you got to do on a rainy Monday if you can, right? That's what we did. Definitely a cloudy, rainy, drizzly, sort of dreary afternoon. Yep. I sure hope we see some sun later in the week. Tomorrow, hopefully Michelle can go shopping. Sun on shopping day is always good. All right, I picked up the boys and we're working our way back to Fuquay. We stopped into Guardian Angel to look at used phone cases just to see if we saw anything for the S6 or S7, but we didn't. So they did have a lot of interesting, inexpensive cases, but none that fit what we need. It has some good otter phone cases too, but again, not the right size. Boo. So, I don't know if I'm totally happy with the case I ordered for Johnny, and Don's case won't be here till Wednesday, so I thought if I could pick up a case for a buck or two to give it a try, we would, but we didn't find anything. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. This is a recreation, but I put the car into a drive and the boys went into the house with their book bags and they did not close the trunk. So I've trained myself really careful to uh, listen for the noises before I move. And of course I can come and close the trunk and I'm still in drive and then the noise will go away. But, um, you know, not having the radio on too loud when I'm pulling in is a good idea. Double checking the um, animations on the car is a good idea. And certainly listening for the alarms. Hey, Donnie. Hey, pretty I'm home. Oh, yeah. It's raining. Yeah. I stopped into Guardian Angel really quick just to see what kind of phone cases they had oh, used. Okay. They have a lot of brand new ones for one or two bucks and then some otter cases for like four or five. Okay. But none in a size we could use. Uh so they had some iPhone uh, 5 cases and oh, sure. some LG G3 cases yeah. and, you know, just a little older, but new ones and used ones. But, yeah. yeah, I was thinking maybe for your run today, if I could find a case for a dollar, you could get wow. your new phone and go. That's right. Mm -hmm. So walk back in front of the car. It was really cool how it detected that you were in front of the car there. Walk again and walk a little slower. Slower, you know. Yes, the car definitely detected you. It got red and then back to orange as it went along. And I said stop at one point. And it, it definitely knew you were in front. It's a good way to check your sensors. Yeah. Has somebody walk slow in front and follow well, the... I assume the back ones don't do it unless you put it in reverse. I don't know. Yeah, right now it's not showing me the back of the car, so, you know, that's, um, well, Joey walked in front of the front and made the front one go off again. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Let me put it in reverse now. Oh, yeah, it definitely said you were back there. Walk back slower and do it one more time. All right, once more. Yep, it, it followed you all the way around. How cool is I that? would say that that's a uh, really uh, easy, quick way to check and make sure every, your sensors are working good. I think she was making a pass at me. <laughs> she was flashing me. <laughs> so, um, I don't remember if I said so or not, but our software update failed Friday oh, night yeah. when we came out Saturday morning so I fired off a note to the service center Saturday around lunchtime like right before right after that little meeting we had up there 
they said they'd get back to me on Monday. They did. Um, they want me to bring Ruby in so they can do some sort of a reset at the service center that they can't do remotely uh, mm -hmm. to try to get that last software update on. Don't know what that is. The last one we had was um, tire pressure and bars. We weren't too excited about that one. You know, every Tesla owner out there is waiting for the real AP drop, right? I mean, yeah. we all hope each update that goes on that we've gotten the one that makes autopilot like sore uh smooth now, i don't take my tire pressure to bars anyway <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know. I'd never even heard of that before. So, um, at any rate, I'm, I haven't scheduled it yet, but sometime in the next seven days, let's say, I'm probably going to go in there, drop her off, get a loaner, and they're going to fix whatever right. is not right. Look who's got on his new uniform. I'll show it off a little bit more when we get out up there, but uh, I was pretty excited. It looks sharp. It looks really sharp, yeah. Yeah. So, um, we're headed up to Taekwondo. It's Johnny's first class as a black belt. That is so cool. And, um, I heard on the 5 p.m. weather forecast, uh, that it's going to be sunny tomorrow from the time we get up until the time we go to bed, like the whole day. So, that's awesome. <laughs> Yes, sir. Good job. Wow, nice for Try to Keep and then. Hey, 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 so how did it feel to do your first class as a black belt? Epic. Awesome. <laughs> I would have to tell you that Johnny put forth about 120% effort. He said he felt like he had something to prove. Now that he have his black belt, I was really proud of his of his effort today. I'm Superman. <laughs> He did good today. He always does good, but he, he really enjoyed his first black so belt So, we left Taekwondo and this message. Now, we are 20 degrees colder than we have been, and colder usually reads lower, so I got out and looked at the tire. It looks okay. I'm also just going to double check with Don that he wants me to drive on it. And um, the other tires are reading where they should read, so... um that's a little disconcerting. I did not see anything wrong with the tire when I got out and looked at it, though. So, I talked to Don. He said Sunday the left rear was reading 41. So, it's dropped 5 pounds. I've probably got a nail or something's wrong with the tire. So, it's not dropping fast. He said to just drive the 2 miles to the house and... Um, he thinks that'll be fine. Obviously, I'll monitor it, and I won't do any sudden takeoffs between here and there. I was going to put... We're home in the driveway now, and I was going to put the suspension on very high so we could try to get a better look at the tire, and it's uh, grayed out. It won't let me do that, which is uh, kind of odd. I mean, I'm in park, and... um. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so I closed the trunk, and now I can put it in high and very high. I don't know if that's why it wasn't available a minute ago, but at any point it is available now, so I'm raising it. Very high, I'll be like a little kid over here trying to slide down to the ground to get out of the car. <laughs> ah, that's funny. All right, 93 miles today. Ruby says I could go 123 more. Um, I uh, We put the car very high suspension, and I slowly backed up, and Don had a flashlight and sort of stood there looking at the tire, and he did not see a nail. So he's putting pressure in it, or air in it now, and um, we'll check it again either later tonight or in the morning and see if it's lost air. That's all we can really do for right now, right?
It did not go down anymore on the way home. It's holding at 36.